According to husband and wife psychotherapist Phil and Erica Brazier, women tend to think it's their own fault. They're often immediately questioned about what their role was in provoking it, which is ridiculous. While men often question their own masculinity. It's viewed by society as, you know, women coming on to you is not a bad thing. In deciding to speak out, men butt up against this social script that men aren't supposed to ask for help. In the, out of survival in the moment, we allow screaming children, occupational pressures, general life stress, and technological distractions to consume our precious minutes. The result of brushing mindfulness practices aside is more stress and a decreased quality of life. Good relationships take an incredible amount of work. When our relationships don't go well or we're struggling in some way, we oftentimes have difficult feelings, hard questions that start to come up. Is this my fault? What's going on? Is it us? Why do all my friends have it so easy? If you think back to the beginning of this program, one of the very first things we started with was anchoring your schedule and balancing your meal times. Your meals are much more important than just an anchor or a balance to your day and your week. What you eat and what you choose to put in your body actually has a profound effect on how your brain functions, your body functions, and how you feel. She brought up the idea of technology. Right? And so technology can be someone's friend or, or it can hurt someone. So for me, when I wrote my thesis in graduate school, I was traveling to different libraries, scrolling through the, um, you know, the records in the basement of Stanford, trying to find an article. That's a very mindful process. I'm looking for this number in this place, turning these wheels to find these documents. Right? It are more complex types of exercises, types of exercises that engage the cerebellum. The cerebellum is extremely important in coordination. So we're talking about things like martial arts, dance, soccer, things like this. I get to see people making incredible changes in the face of adversity that they've dealt with for many years in trying to manage their ADHD. I, for a living, I help people perform better, do these types of things, you know, get in the zone in their life, their career, etc. Um, and so I thought that we were going to learn about that and we were going to ski or we were going to snowboard and it was going to be amazing. I did not expect that I was going to come out of here with growth, you know connection with other people, a willingness to kind of back off or be more accepting or more open and you know a level of authenticity that you can't can this stuff. You can't you can't fake it. It only happened because of the location, the people, that everything. It's just incredible. The leadership. Profound.